Hi, it's Mary Beth Decker with sacredgrove.com. Uh, I've got some notes. I'm going to use them to make sure I stay on track. Uh, I am happy to say uh, that I, I have written Chapter 2 in the best-selling book, Inspired Living. Excuse me for a second. There it is. Inspired Living, Superpowers for Health, Love, and Business. It's an Amazon number one bestseller in several categories. And I'm going to put the links to it below this video. But I wanted to show it show it to you. Like, it's for real. Um, so remember, there will be a place to get the book. Uh, when you buy it, 10% of the royalties are donated to the nonprofit. Ben Speaks, which is great. And I, I'd love to hear your comments. I, I'm not really good at, at seeing them while I'm talking. You know, it's the old chewing gum and walking at the same time. Not so good. So if I see them, I will answer them when, when I'm done, all right? So let, let's get this party started. All right. So, oh, by the way, there's a stealth cat behind me. Maybe you can see an ear popping up. She's white. That's funny. She's hanging out with, with her uh, little toy doggy over there. Okay. So we're doing chapter two. Ready? I feel like I got my kids here again, except the fact that they're in their 30s. It doesn't quite work the same way. So it's the energetic green smoothie for your animals. So you can connect with them anywhere and anytime. So if you find that sometimes you love your animals as much as or more than the people in your life, you're in the right place. I say this with a slight grin, knowing it's an inside joke between devoted animal lovers. Because the truth is, sometimes it, it, it is easier to find love and acceptance for and from our non-human family than our human one. To be clear, I deeply love my human family and friends. It's not that I prefer life as a hermit, not at all, but usually we've had fewer disagreements and felt less judgment and grudges or we're on the receiving end of fewer grudges with our animals and our humans. If that rings true for you, would you like to connect even more deeply with your animal? In other words, would you like to create an intuitive or telepathic connection with them? In this chapter, I share my energetic green smoothie so you can practice intuitive communication with your animals. But before I do, I want to set you up with the right mindset to be successful. Then I'll teach you the tool and share examples of how you can use it in your daily life. Ready? Okay. So the first thing is, is that you don't have to be born an animal communicator. Mm -hmm. I am an animal communicator, but I wasn't born one. I am an example of this. I didn't connect intuitively with my animals until later in life, probably because I wasn't aware I could. Don't make the same mistake. Don't make the same mistake. Before I considered myself an animal communicator, I had an extraordinary experience with my girl dog, Eddie. The kids named her, okay. Eddie passed away after a long illness. While Eddie's passing was not unexpected, it was still painful. And the pain increased exponentially as I realized I had to get on a plane to staff our association's annual meeting five hours away. Curling up on the floor and bawling for hours was not on the agenda. As I packed for the meeting, I sniffed, why can't there be bereavement leave when we lose someone who's been a part of our family for over 10 years? So what if it's a dog? Been there? I steeled myself for a weekend of outward smiling and inward crying as I made it through the airport and found my seat on the plane. For some reason, I ended up with an aisle seat, even though I usually choose the window seat. One more thing to remind me, I don't want to be here, I grumbled to myself. After we took off and I was nursing a hot tea, 
I got the strangest feeling. Eddie, is that you? I whispered as I was on a plane. Somehow I just knew she was sitting in the aisle next to me. Yes, it's me, she said. You need me and here I am. Well, okay then. I spent the rest of the trip petting my invisible, recently deceased dog. I can only imagine the flight attendants whispering to each other, what is going on with that woman as I'm, you know. Later, when I checked into my hotel room, I realized I was not needed until the next morning. Eddie jumped, literally, Eddie jumped on the bed with me and kept me company the day I slept, which I slept the whole day, honestly. Because Eddie chose to spend time with me when I most needed her, I was able to pull myself together and perform all my duties during the annual meeting. Too bad my association give, didn't give awards for best and most useful animal companion. Eddie would have won. Okay. Yeah, you don't have to wait as long as I did to feel the, the connection. I believe most of us already connect to our animals on an intuitive level. Or more accurately, our animals are tuned into us. A delightful book, Dogs That Know When Their Owners Are Coming Home by Rupert Sheldrake provides scientific studies in this area. I found these studies of dogs, cats, and even birds who accurate, accurately predicted when their people were on their way home fascinating and entertaining. It's a good read. All you need to do is pay more attention to this possibility. For instance, have you ever experienced your animal looking at you intently? I'm sorry, let me get back. My sense is they're thinking, human, why can't you hear me? I'm making this as clear as I can, but you aren't getting it. Many people have had this experience. It's an intuitive connection. Here are some more signs that you and your animal are already intuitively tuned in. You think about them and they show up. Sometimes 10 minutes later, my cats are famous for this. Or you know that they want to come back in the house now. When you get to the door, there they are staring at you wondering what took you so long. Or when you, you're upset or you can't sleep, they snuggle up with you to provide comfort and peace. You sense they enjoy being service to you, of service to you. And others, some others, animals leave the room when you're having an argument with, with another human being. Because of past incidents or their particular personality, they may physically feel the energy of the emotions and decide, I'm, I'm getting out of here. And like my dogs, animals who've passed may have visited you, visited you, maybe in your dreams, or let you know in some other way that they were there. But you probably thought it was just your imagination because you missed them so much. It wasn't, they wanted you to know they're okay and love you. Then finally, is there a time when you thought like I did if my dog or cat or bunny, if they could talk, I swear, she just said, and then fill in the blank. You just heard your animal say something to you, okay? Take time to recall odd incidents that stick in your mind. Consider other times a synchronicity between you and your animal that you thought were coincidence, coincidences or your imagination. You might find more examples. So, compass is kind of an asterisk. As you do this, it opens your mind, your logical side to the possibilities. And that's just as important as getting the hits, is, is you brought both sides of your brain to say, yeah, that really happened. Okay, so let's get into the tool. The Energetic Green Smoothie, Connecting Through Love. 
Love is the best energy in the universe. And if you read this far, or you're listening this far, your love for your animal is genuine and deep. That means you have the key ingredient to help you connect. When you consciously harness this love for your animals, you create a strong intuitive channel to share information. With practice, you may notice subtle changes in their behavior over time. If you're lucky, you may even see a dramatic shift or change in their behavior. Well, let me tell you the evolution of the green smoothie. When I married for a second time, I had two kids on the brink of becoming teenagers who'd lost their father to a heart attack years before. It was a difficult transition for everyone. Yeah. Just got to stop there for a second. I received the download of the Energetic Green Smoothie from Source when I began to learn energy healing techniques. It connects every one in the family through their heart with love. At first, I just used it for the humans in my family. Eventually, I mused, why aren't I including my animals? So I added my dogs and later my cats to my energy, energetic green smoothie circle. It's been wonderful to feel everyone's heart connect. Later, as I shared the energetic green smoothie with my clients, I noticed that adding simple animal communication to the smoothie was the next level of goodness, so to speak. For my family, using animal communication via the energetic green smoothie allowed my cats to shift problematic behaviors more easily. Yeah. And that's another story. Okay, so now let's talk about learning the green smoothie. First, we're going to learn how to set the energetic green smoothie in motion so all hearts are connected. Then we're going to practice sharing information with our animals while maintaining the energetic green smoothie. Now, I do this a lot, so I'm going to share this very much like if I was teaching a client. And if you're one of those people that don't mind closing your eyes and testing it out, um, do it, do it. Uh, think of an animal you want to communicate with. It's usually, usually a kind of gregarious, outgoing one will come. Uh, sometimes another one just pops in and says, no, I'm, I'm the one I want to do. You, I want to talk to you. <laughs> so whatever happens. Okay. All right. First is to keep your visualizations simple and easy. Some people think visualizing something when their eyes are closed is the same as seeing something with their eyes open. I did. They believe they must see a 3D picture with vivid colors and incredible details where they're doing it wrong. That's not what's needed. Instead, picture what you see when you recall a memory. Just, just in your mind's eye or some people see it over here or in front of them. doesn't matter. Something as simple as what your front door looks like or your cat's paw. That's all the visualization you need. Okay? So let's do it. Find a place where you can relax without interruption. I'm hoping that's right here right now, but we'll see. Don't forget to turn off anything that beeps or rings. Get comfortable, but don't lay down. Close your eyes. Think about all the beings in your family, all the species, including the humans, <laughs> and their names. In your imagination, picture gathering them into a circle that includes you. In case you were wondering, no, you don't have to physically place everyone in a circle, which is good because my cats would never go for it. My dogs probably would, but not my cats. You don't even have to be in the same room, house, state, province, or country. You're simply creating that circle in your mind's eye. Now, use your imagination. Look around. When I say look, sense, if that's your feeling, um, just know. Notice where everyone is located. Remember, your eyes are closed. Now, being left-handed, I always start to my left. This is left for me. 
I know the picture looks like I'm going right, and move around the circle clockwise, noticing each being. And I have my husband and five animals. Oh, we got the kitty moving. You can also turn around and go counterclockwise. No worries, the direction doesn't matter. Whatever it feels easiest and more like a flow, do it. All that matters is they're assembled. It's like looking around the table during dinner. I'm thinking of the uh, Christmas and Thanksgiving dinners that we went to and everybody was around the table. And seeing that all your human family has gathered, whatever. You, you, you probably have a few different holidays where you, you can think of that too. But in this case, both humans and non-humans are in that circle. All right, now imagine or pretend or just know that a green light the size of a flashlight beam, you know, comes out of your heart and travels to whoever's heart is on your left. And it moves them from their heart to the next, to the next being's heart until the green light comes back to your heart. It doesn't matter how many souls you connect with. If it's just you and your animal, great. In your mind's eye, imagine just being across from your animal and sending them green light and having it come back. Now, why green? The color green is associated with the heart chakra, the energetic, energetic uh, center, the energy center in the middle of the chest. This, is, this center is considered the source of giving and receiving love. From my experience, all sentient beings I work with have chakras. So if you're not a fan of chakras, just forget that I used the word. Instead, think of your heart as the source of love energy and green being the sign of growth and healing in nature. Okay? You now have that green light connected, all, connecting all the hearts of your family. Good work. So now bring in the feeling of love. Conjure up your love and joy in knowing these beings. Feel the delight of their special selves. I use memories. They're, that's really good. Um, however, you, you know, you can do it. It's a real feeling once you get it. As you feel this energy, imagine or pretend that it saturates the green light with your love, moving through the circle of green light. Right? It's as if you've built a small green circular pathway through everybody's heart and filled it with love. Now, imagine you're the en engine and you're moving this love and loving energy through everyone's heart. You're sending green, love-filled energy, and it's a bright green, it's beautiful, through the circle that connects their hearts. Run the energetic green smoothie for a while while it moves through everyone's heart. This should be slow, relaxed movement, not fast or frantic. As you feel the peace and joy of being part of your family, imagine they feel it too, because I've seen this happen when we do it. They relax into the knowledge of how loved and connected they are. Congratulations, you just created your own energetic green smoothie. And I use smoothie, by the way, because it feels like it smooths everybody's emotions through that connection of love. Right? By itself, this is a wonderful energy to calm your family members and remind them that you're all connected through love. It's a useful practice, in, practice for deepening family relationships. So, I've got more ways to use it I'm going to share with you right now. In addition to connecting everyone's heart and love, here are additional ways to use the energetic green smoothie. Okay, first, get the energetic green smoothie started, get it going, imagine, and now imagine it running automatically, like you've switched on a light as you practice this. Just know it's going, you can feel it. Okay, first one I'd suggest. When you've got the circle created, tell your family in your mind. And this, you're always, it's always best when you put this in your own words, okay? But I'm, I'm putting it in my words. This heart connection is what it means to be family. We love and respect each other. We take care of each other. This is your forever family. 
every day you wake up will be there for you. What are the other positive statements that express your commitment to your family? Okay, here's another one. Invite family members who've passed on to join the circle. Sometimes they just show up, so you know that's okay too. Feel the joy of being connected with all the beings you've loved. Human, non-human, doesn't matter. How they're still there for you, care for you, and they know they're still in your heart. Okay, another one? You ready? When you're out of town, create a circle with your animals who didn't get to come with you. In your head, tell them, relax. We're coming home soon. We love you. We haven't forgotten you. We're having fun, so you should too. Eat, drink, and be merry. You make us so happy. I hope you're getting the idea and some thoughts are coming to you as, you, as I'm saying this. Like, just, oh, I, I can use it like this. That's pretty cool. So if your animal's staying at the animal hospital while they recover from a procedure, you've got the green smoothie going. Don't worry, I'm coming to pick you up. Let these good people take care of you. Another one for you. If your animals who aren't getting along, if you have animals who are not getting along, has happened in my family, show them how you wish they behaved towards each other. By this, I mean create a picture in your mind of them doing the behavior you'd like to see in the real world. As you create this picture, tell them, I love you guys so much. You'd make me incredibly happy if you treated each other like this. Now, I have to do this on a regular basis with two of my cats, but it has worked. It's really great. Another, here's my last suggestion. When their behaviors begin to frustrate or worry you, use the energetic green smoothie to smooth out your own emotions. So you're doing this for you first, right? I'm doing this because we're connecting it and you've got your relaxation into that green smoothie. Then tell them what you love about them. Give specific examples, especially with whoever it is that you are like feeling frustrated about or worried. You'll recharge your patience and, and they will relax as you do this. Okay. So final paragraph, thanks for sticking with me. These are a few examples of how to use the energetic green smoothie with your family. Feel free to come up with your own innovations. I am serious. The more ways you figure out how to use this, the more fun you will have. Know that the loving, peaceful energy you create will affect everyone in a positive way. That's because love is the highest and the strongest vibration in the universe. I urge you to practice the energetic green smoothie often. And thank you. And thank you, Carolyn. Oh, let me put it this way. Thank you for allowing me to have written this for this wonderful book. Again, I'll, I'll put all the, yeah, let me get this out of the way. Sorry. I'll put all the, the different uh, links for you to find the book. And, um, and please, I'd love to hear comments also. Thanks so much. Bye now.